You sure you want to do our secret handshake? Yeah. It's a bit silly. Oh, you're aggressive with it today. <laughs> Look at that. Hi Vogue, it's Brooklyn, and today I'm cooking a special Valentine's dinner uh, for my fiance Nicola. She's actually here to help me. You right? She cannot cook to save her life. Okay. Okay, so what are we making today? We're gonna make heart-shaped pizza, and then we're making an espresso martini, and then we're gonna make a chocolate lava cake. Dairy-free. All dairy-free. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna start off by making the pizza dough. You have double O flour, oil, water, sugar, salt, and instant yeast. Two cups. Of this. Yes. We do two teaspoons of sugar. One of these? One of those. Right, so now put this on number one, and now we slowly pour in the water. Okay. So this is starting to come together now. I just needed to turn up the heat a little bit. You did not just so, say that. I did just say that. You can actually tell if you take both ends and it comes off really easily. After you put the oil on, put that over. That will like really rise in the fridge because of the yeast. Yeah. It goes in for like two hours. I feel like Martha Stewart and this is my dream. So Brooklyn is getting the dough out of the fridge and then we are gonna make two separate pizzas and see which one turns out the best. It's are we actually two. gonna cut the heart? Yeah. No, it looks so pretty without with in one prompt. No, I'm gonna break your heart today on Valentine's Day. Jesus. So this has actually been chilling for two hours and then what you can do is you just start doing this. Okay, let me side. <laughs> do I get one of those? No, okay. always use your hands. It's called a rolling pin, by the way. Okay, shut up. They're gonna have all my finger marks. How do we take that out? So, to do the heart shaped, you do this, and then you get scissors, and... Get out of here. Like how you do a card, right? How do I do a card? You can cut the whole pizza in half. Why are you criticizing me? <laughs> it's gonna be like this big. Okay, sorry, I cut too much crust off. Right, so I'm gonna get the ceramic pizza stone. Uh, which I'm actually going to cook because ovens don't get as hot as pizza ovens and this is going to help create the heat and create a nice crust. Please watch your back, it's really hot. Where are my gloves? Do you want to do that? Yes, please. Okay. Remember, when you put it on, just leave that much of the crust. And then what would you like to put on top? This is actually... <laughs> this is cashew Stop laughing. mozzarella made out of cashew milk. Am I too overdoing this? No. You like it like a lot of tomato, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, just spread it out a little bit. It's perfect though, babe. Well done. Are we dividing this? Like this is your territory and this is mine? Yeah, but let's not cut it because then that's like cutting the heart and that's sad. Okay. She yeah. is really romantic. When we got back from New York the other day, she planted this like cute like herb garden outside on our patio, which is really lovely. Do you want to do peppers on top? No, I'm... I'm... This is your territory. Okay. One of the most romantic things Brooklyn has ever done for me is when he proposed. I really did not expect it. He told me he was like planning a little date night for us. And then we took a golf cart ride to this little area where you could see the entire lake and he covered the entire gazebo with flowers. I was so nervous. Honestly. He was like literally shaking with a bottle of wine and he couldn't open the wine and then <laughs> He like, went behind the bush and went on one knee and I couldn't even see the ring, I started crying so much. Yeah, a lot of tears. A lot of tears. She didn't give me an answer for like five minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna add more cheese. I feel like, what if, you know when you get a pizza and it feels naked? I don't like that. So I'm gonna make sure it's not naked. Right. Um, are you done? Yeah. That is at 4.50. I'm probably gonna put in for like five minutes, six minutes. And while that is cooking, clean up a little bit, and then we're gonna start our dessert. Okay. Right, so we're making the chocolate lava cake. I feel overly confident, I think, <laughs> slash awkward at most times. Okay, so what you're anything? gonna do, no. Yeah. Oh, can I do an egg? Yes, so we're gonna do two eggs and two egg yolks. And then I'll do the chocolate. So this is a double boiler. This is so basically the chocolate doesn't burn. And this is vegan butter. Oh, look at that. Two. Eggs. Okay. I'm gonna do a double time watch. 
<laughs> that pretty was good. Amazing. Oh my god. Pretty good. Do you want to do the egg yolk? Nice. Oh, this feels nice. Shit. <laughs> Okay, so now you add one fourth of the sugar. I'm sorry, I'm messy. Nice. So then a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of flour. Oh, this is so easy. Okay, so with this, I know you like whisking, but you really have to, it's like a. You can do that. Oh, this smells so nice. It's like a chocolate face. Floor foam. I don't have any arm muscles. I want a whistle. Floor foam. Ah, okay, that's all I can do. All right, so take that off. Do you want to pour? Wait, what's, what's the plan? What are we doing? So we need to pour this in there. This in there? Yeah. Okay, so just dump wanna, it in. You want to pour it? Slowly, because it's really hot chocolate. So it's so. Uh, there we go. Is it done? Right, so <clears throat> that was the side. It's more of like a fold. So Can you I'll help? do the first one. It's really hot actually. So here, let me get the gloves. This is what oh, I Oh yeah, you to can do the gloves. The whole time. Whew. Okay, what do I do? Just pour it in? Yeah. Not all the way though. Right, that's perfect. A bit more. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. Sick. That was nice and fun. Right, so now these, which Nicola just poured very perfectly, we're going to go in the oven for about 12 minutes um, at 450. So we're going to make the espresso martini, the virgin espresso martini. So you're going to put four of these of espresso in there. And then this is actually, it's supposed to be like vodka. Nice. And then simple syrup, and then a little bit of vanilla syrup. Oh, that's the worst sound in the world. Brooklyn okay. hates that sound. It's so weird. It's horrible. He has really specific. That square plate. Big forks. Big forks. <laughs> chewing They're with all, your mouth open. Chewing with your mouth open. That's the only thing you said in our wedding meetings. Don't do square plates. I'm impressed. That's sexy, Brooklyn. So now, we lost our. You do. You want to do that one? And then I always love doing. Extra caffeine. A tiny. <laughs> a little kick. I feel like I'm going to chomp Cheers. on all the things I put in here. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. It's pretty good. I love drinks that don't taste like alcohol, so this is right up my alley. All right, so do you want to take the drinks to the table? Babe, do you like basil? Yeah. Okay, cool. And put a big basil leaf on each bite. That looks amazing. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. My side of the pizza looks a bit nicer. No. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Are you happy? You yes, like this? I love yeah. it. I, I, I love basil. Can I just start eating it? Yes. Okay. You really went ham on this basil. It's actually so good. It really is good. Would you try the dairy-free part? Mm. Please, just take one bite. That was such a lame bite. Mm. Will you try my bit? No. We're actually talking <laughs> about our signature drink for our wedding this week. I know, we've been like really thinking the last like few weeks about it. We're gonna do either an espresso martini, a lighty martini, or like a elderflower. I love elderflower. Full, Full wedding prep mode, and it is a lot of fun. And it's, it's, it's strange, because the more wedding meetings that we have, the more real it feels. Yeah. And, like I it see. still kind of feels fake yeah. in a way. I'm excited. I'm wearing a yarmulke. Yeah. 
Jewish wedding. Yeah, Jewish wedding. So the Friday night, Brooklyn's gonna stay with my dad, my brothers, and then his dad and his brothers, and have like a boy slumber party. And then I'm gonna stay with the girls. So from the Friday night dinner, we're not gonna see each other until we get married in the afternoon. We've been panicking about this one night apart. I get so scared, I'm like, what happens if like she doesn't walk down the aisle and I'm like standing there? That's my biggest fear. No. I'm definitely gonna cry. I'm not gonna say the song she's walking down, but as, when I hear the song every time, I start to like. Yeah, we play it in the car yeah, sometimes. Yeah, all the time. But not too much, because we don't want to get bored of the song. <laughs> Impossible. Ooh. Yeah, try the dessert. Oh yeah, look at that. It's lovely, that. Oh my God. First of all, I went for the fork. It's just so good. Oh my good. God, that is amazing. I'm such a chocolate person. I feel like I was a great help to you in the kitchen. What do you say? Really good help. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. I really tried for you today. Because usually she's the one I make a, a drink and she just watches me cook. And yeah, now, I'm a good watcher, cooker. She's a great watcher. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, babe. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> Stop looking at me. I always spit that out. I love you. I love you. I'm going for it. Why do I always am eager to be the kisser? She just wants to kiss me so bad. Get through the flames. This is a dangerous one. I love you.